Hey guys, Sam with you here. Friday, December 29th. We're um, oh, early morning ish uh, here in Austin. Uh, so I've got some members that are in this trade. This is a trade right out of our room. Uh, I'm in it. I've got some members in it. And it's you know, if if you're looking at this, it's, it's if you follow me on, on on YouTube or you know any of my members, we we know it's, it's you know it should be pretty obvious as to why we took the trade. It's, it's not it's not super complicated. We we've got this this an Elliott count here. We're working off of a one two three. We come back down here. You can see the median line. Here's the tap of the median line, and then we come back one more time and we kiss. So we entered it here off of the tap of the median line. We came back down one more time to get a perfect tap on the six one eight before we started this move here. So. You know, for us, it's still not far enough yet to where I'd move the stop. I mean, if, you know, for someone were a little nervous, you, you might tighten up just a hair. So we're still sitting. That's roughly a 15 to 1 risk reward if we're going to go up to that algo target. So working from the two low to the three high, here's the 618, here's the algo target. There's the negative 23.6, which would play nicely with this with this count as a potential fifth now you know when we get are we going to you know potentially a double top if we're going to revisit this median line which is while we've gone wide here it's you know it, we've seen good containment here so potentially but here's the target that we're shooting for so looking at this now so since <clears throat> i can I can pull that off to the side since we're we're all so let's let's take this off so the the other thing you see here is that as we wick the median line and then come back down here, the failure to get back to the median line sets up some some energy to move the other direction. So everything was here that we looked for. We had very low risk with a stop on the other side of the 65. Uh, lots of upside. It's just the kind of trade that we look for, and it's the kind of thing I've shown you guys many, many times. So let, let's pull this off here. So what could we be having? What, what, where, where could we be in this as we as we start to move so if, if we operate as the, that on the assumption that this is our four well we've got some sort of diagonal that's underway here so we we could we could make the case that we've got a one two three you know four we're trying to put in a five up here it's 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 you know it's not impulsive it's a diagonal so but it, it's still potentially plays for us here it would be nice to get up to some new highs here so we we have the potential for this to be into a one wave now if i put this in that context of where we're going potentially to our targets well we're, the fact that we'd be putting in a one wave here before we get there into the fifth is not terribly surprising so we we we'd be working on the assumption that we're going to do something along these lines so if i can get this here so we we'd have a 1 2 3 4 5 something like that to get us up there so we're not going to go straight well you know in crypto you know anything's possible but it would be surprising if we were just after this sort of choppy bouncing action here trying to establish this move up into the fifth, this would this would not be surprising at all that we, we work our way through some subdivision here to get us into that three, four, five to get us up towards these upper targets, at least towards this algo target. So, you know, this, I'm just eyeballing it here. So if we can get, so where's the next opportunity? So if you're not long here, there's potentially an opportunity setting up to catch the two of the fifth. So let me, let me put this in a different color, so. It makes sense as you look at it. So let's go to a green and let's go down sub menu. In. Okay, there you go. So so that makes more sense. So so first we got to wait and see you know if and when we get a top here so before we can call that one complete. And you can see we're getting classic diagonal as we get threes and threes and threes. We get classic diagonal structure. So at some point here, we're likely to come up and put in a fifth. So if you're not in, this is a hurry up and wait. You're waiting for the next opportunity, hoping this doesn't just run away. If you're long here, you know, that's, I mean, again, it's 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 pretty standard type of trade that you'd look for. I mean, even, Elliot aside, just pulling from, you know, the, the last pivot low here, that's, you know, there's not too many trading books that wouldn't have a 618 as a trigger for you to at least be looking for a market reaction there. But as an Elliott trader, we can see this nice ABC. We got the three waves in the B. We get a five wave down for the C. I mean, everything that we look for is there. So now we just, we're kind of waiting. We, we, we can't even draw the second, the pull for the second, until we get a turn here, until we get a pivot for the fifth. Now, we could, if I open this up to help, we could we could put a, a median line on that 
and I would. Here's my low. I'd go up to my three, down to my four. You know that I'd have to get the probably get a two on that. Let's see if that holds it. Two and a one and a half, maybe better. So zooming. So here, I mean this this certainly a contender up here. If we if we get that might be too steep we'll see so right now we just got a, a diagonal that's shaping up here and we get in a one two three four there, we're, we're close to that so this is where maybe the oscillators can be helpful we're getting a little hot here on on uh on the rsi so potentially you know we're, we're heading towards this one wave high and then we just got we've got to wait for that pivot and then look for some evidence that we're starting to correct it we'd want to see some subdivision we'd want to see it you know the, the 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 tendency is to jump on the A wave, right? So that's the that's the impulsive trader who who's not, you know, who who just doesn't know to look for three wave subdivision to correct it. But you know, maybe everybody knows that. But if if not, that that would be the kind of thing you'd want to look for is at least some some sort of subdivision here where we could see that setting up for a second. We know the second if and when we get our top here is going to be somewhere between the fifty and the seven eight six. So you're looking for that that price pattern that structure to help identify when we get into that that zone for that second looking to catch the third of the fifth right if that makes sense so here here's our fit here's our target up here for the fifth here's our third here's our fourth we're just in the one of the fifth we'd be looking for the next opportunity so for us as long trader long off of the the entry here at the 618 that's an opportunity to add to try and catch the third of the fifth or if you're not in it, that's your next that's your next on ramp. All right guys, I'll wrap it there.